Now, the last speaker of the day. It's a wee bit of warm in here, folks. Oh, aye, the temperature down. Right. <laughs> Wasn't sure about that one. Um, the last speaker of the day, though, is Ram. Now, you've heard from Sylvia, who really told you Ram's story. So, I don't know that I can do a great deal more introduction, except that they are a super couple. He's got a great story, and he does a super training, and he's buying me a drink later. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Ram Lang. It's the first time I've ever, I've always wanted to wear a headset. Do you know what? Madonna, you know, this is what I want because I just wanted to get up here and do a bit of voguing, right? And I just think, what? I tell you what, I can move, you know. I can, I can, I can swagger like Jagger. Right. Um, Last speaker of the day, I'm looking at the time, and all of you are probably looking at your watch and thinking, great, um, I know it's going to be finished at half four. Well, guess what? Half five. Okay? <laughs> I'm just letting you know now. Okay? Um, no, half past four, we'll be, we'll be finished for. So. Okay. You've heard people talk about goal setting, uh, things that, are, that you need to do for your business. Uh, now, if you're thinking, oh, goal setting. It's about that. Most people, when they hear about the word goal setting, they switch off. Right? Go on, be honest. As soon as you're in goal setting, who switches off? Who thinks it's this American thing? That, oh, yeah, you know. Do you know what? Be honest, because when I was asked to goal set 11 years ago, I was like, ah, you're joking. That's that bloke. Because I used to remember Kenny Everett. He used to come on with the bigger fingers, like, and, you know, and say, I believe, I believe, and all that. And I thought, oh, it's one of them happy, clappy, load of mumbo jumbo things that I'm going to have to do to make this business work. Um, how wrong was I? Because you know what? Who in here believes in goal setting? Right. Who in here thinks they need to be trained in goal setting? Right. To be honest with you, you've been goal setting since the day you were born. But you know why? Who here, I'll move on to it in a second, sorry, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people of things. This is what I mean here. Right. Who crawled here today? <laughs> I, I know, I've seen some of your faces, yeah. Okay. But from the minute you were born, you were set a goal to walk. That, that, that's what you would, you know, but the thing was, did you think about it? Right? I don't think anybody thought about it. You know, at the end of the day, from the minute you're born, you are goal setting straight away. The thing is, it's like everything. If somebody says to you, what's your goal? Nine times out of ten, you'll say what somebody else is. Or you'll sit and say, oh, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is. But you know what? Just take away the word goal setting. Just take it away. You're doing it anyway. You've done it from the minute you were born. Because you know what? When you were born, you were given a number. Who agrees on that? Yeah, yeah on, your, on your birth certificate, there's a number. <laughs> what do you think you get when you die? Another number. Another number. All right? So we're just numbers. Okay? You are a number programmed to crawl, sit up, walk, run, do things, and then die. <laughs> right, I know that sounds pretty grim. But that's, that's true, isn't it? Okay? So, whose goal was ever to ride a bike? I'm putting that was the bike of our era. The Tomahawk. Do you know what? Everyone talks about the chopper. No. The Tomahawk, the Tomahawk didn't have that gear stick that used to hurt you when you fell off it. Okay? The Tomahawk, to me, was the bike. And I wanted one. I really wanted one. I didn't have any money, nor did my mum or, or my dad. What they did is they got one second hand. But they got me that bike. And the reason why I wanted that bike, I wanted to be Evil Knievel. Excuse me. 
Again, for the young ones, it was a guy who put a cat suit on with stars and stripes and jumped over things and failed consistently because he broke every single bone in his body. Okay? But on my tomahawk, I was Evil Knievel. So people are saying, when, when, you, when you were born, you weren't shown, you didn't know how to ride a bike. People had stabilizers on. Then you take one off. My mum and dad didn't say, my dad was like, ah, you're not having stabilizers. You keep riding and you'll keep falling. And then sooner or, lo so sooner or later, you'll realize how to sit up straight. And that was it. Because we couldn't afford stabilizers. We just said, just keep falling over. And if you do it enough, <laughs> you'll learn. Right? Was it a wrong lesson? No, it was the right lesson. Because the thing is, keep falling over, dust yourself down, or I could have just given up. But you know what? For every time I was on it, I was evil can evil. I achieved my dream. I can't agree on this one. School. You know, swatting for exams. I hated school. I hated everything about it. I just thought, what is the point of sitting in the room and looking at the back of somebody's head? I just thought, well, that's not inspiring because the guy in front of us always had nits, right? <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, I wasn't inspired at all for school. I used to look out the window and think, that's the real world. I need to be there. As soon as I, I found out that at, at secondary school that you could walk through one end, meet up with my mate and walk out. So at 9 o'clock, we used to go into school. 5 past 9, we'd be out of school. We'd come back to register at 3 o'clock or for sport. But I hated school. On, on my... Uh, um, when parents, parents even, I used to dread it because I knew my, I was getting the slipper. I knew what was coming. My teachers used to always say, total daydreamer. Do you know what? They were right. I constantly daydreamed, right? Because everything they were teaching me at school didn't matter to me because, A, I was going to be evil can evil, and I didn't need, I didn't need exams. I knew I was going to join the army. I wanted to join the army. And to become a paratrooper, you didn't need m many qualifications. All you needed to know was that when the door opens, Gravity takes over, you will fall down. Okay? You won't fall up, you'll go down. So I didn't need school. But some people have gone on. The first kiss, you know, with the, the girl of your dreams. That was me with my girl of my dreams. And unfortunately, I ended up with Sylv. But <laughs> I asked, I did say I could say that. Okay? But can you, can you remember the goal? You know, the, you're setting goals, aren't you? When you, I, you know, I used to, like, used to follow this girl around all of the time because she was older than me and. Uh, when I was a little kid, I remember, I remember her. I, I can't remember her name, I just remember the way she looked. And I must have been about six or seven. Right? And she must have been about nine or ten. And I just used to follow her around. I used to be like a lap dog. But I just always wanted to kiss her. It never happened. But do you know what? The dream was there. Because do you know what? I managed to kiss somebody else. And then I married Syl. <laughs> okay? People have took driving tests. And do you know what? I've heard this many times, just like clean easy. People have said to me, driving doesn't work. I'm like, ah, oh, well, of course it works. I know people that have passed the test, but I also know people that have failed the test. I know people that have joined clean easy, and I've known a hell of a lot of people that have left clean easy. Does it work? Yeah, when I set my, t I wanted a car. Why? Because it got me away. It got me uh, to visit other places, but not only that, Girls like lads with cars. It's true, isn't it? So my goal was to pass my test. Now, many people go out, so do you know what? For goal setting's there. It's inbred into you. Clean Easy Now have launched something for Dubai and the Maldives. The conferences now are easier to get on now than what they were ever were. And I think that's the problem. They're too easy. Because do you know what? Who... When it was announced and everybody was like that, I always looked around the Birmingham arena and I said to Michael, cat car today, I said, out of the 3,000 that was at the arena, have all 3,000 qualified yet? The likelihood is, no, it's not going to happen. Why? It's so, so easy to do, but it's also so, so easy not to do. And the reason why, you're given too much time. If you were given a date to say, right, you need to do it in four periods, we've set a challenge with our team to do it within five periods. And people are stepping up to it because, you know what, I don't want them to wait until the last period where you're going to have to go and up your retail. Because, you know what, it starts with you. You're the superstar in your business. So if you've got nobody in your team right now, you're the superstar. 
I'll guarantee you, if you do it right, you will get there. How? You can up your retail and just get to talking to people. How hard is it to talk to people? Do you know what? When you're speaking to your customers, I gather you don't just go up and say, order, tenor. <laughs> you know? I hope you engage a bit more than that. You know, I'm, we're always talking to our customers. The only reason we still retail, we're not massive retailers. There's people that are buying from us that still haven't took the opportunity to watch the DVD. They've watched the videos when we used to have videos, and they're like, oh, it's not for me. And all. But there's still people out there that have refused to engage as yet on this opportunity. But I'll get them. Because the whole idea is I'll wear them down. <laughs> okay? Because that's the thing. Drip feed, drip feed, drip feed. And be positive. If you're walking up the path with your clean easy bag dragging behind you, like, oh, here we go again, and it's <laughs> raining, right? A lot of people in here, you joined in Scotland. It rains, <laughs> right? I've never seen many Scots people in sombreros in January, February, March putting catalogs out. In Blackpool, right? Because half of you have moved down to bloody Blackpool, you've brought all your weather. So we get Scottish weather as well. It's not sunnier there, okay? Don't walk around as though you've been slapped by a trout, right? <laughs> walk around as though you're enthusiastic about this business. Every time I open my mouth about Clean Easy to our customers, they all say, how's it, how's it? You know, it's raining. I said, I know, it's absolutely throwing it down. I said, but the great thing is, skin's waterproof, and I've got some great product, products that I can actually use. Would you like one? <laughs> you know? The thing is, if you're like that, oh, I know, it's, it's tough. And Are they going to join? Never. Because do you know what? Your family and friends only remember the negative. How do I know? It's happened to us tons of times. And we learn early. Because I said to Syl, when Syl was negging, 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 negging all of the time, I said, do you know what? When Syl engaged, I said, do you know what? It's going to be hard to get any of your family in. Because all you've done is... Uh, 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 uh. And do you know what? It was hard. It was very, very hard. So just be careful. Everything's mega positive. Some people want to do it for money. Who wants money? Right? I joined not for holidays, not for cars. I joined for money. Hard cash. Why? Hard cash pays. When you've got hard cash, life gets easier. The same money doesn't make, uh, doesn't make you happier. It doesn't. It makes it life easier. It gives you options. And all we wanted to do was give options to our kids. So you've got that option. Cars. There's cars on offer. They've got even easier now to win. They have. When we won the Mini, do you know what? We never won ever anything. But I knew from the minute that, because there's only two cars I like. I'm not a car person. Mini Cooper, Aston Martin. Clean Easy must have known I was joining because they brought them both in. When they drove the Mini Cooper out, I turned to myself and I said, you know what, we'll win that. There was 37 Minis in our house, little toys. I told everybody, people were going away on holiday and they weren't bringing me back like crappy tea towels saying, oh, Mallorca and all of that lot. They were bringing me min stuff with Minis in. Syl's dad actually went in and asked the bar owner if he could take something off, and he brought me a sign out of a bar, which was an old classic mini. And he, he got it. So we had them all over. I had, all, I had it as my screensaver. And you know what? The, the Italian job drove Syl mad. Um, I, downloaded, I downloaded the, um, the rev counter. You can get it from mini. Download it, and you can actually press your mouse, and, it's, it, and I'd put the speakers on full blast, and Syl would like that every morning. Will you turn it off? I'm like, ah, this is me driving my car. Okay? So we knew it was going to happen. Did it happen? Yes. And I wanted a private number plate. The reason why it says Y555, because it's Y, build the business, 55555. Okay? And RAM. Why? Because, do you know what? The amount of people that said it had never happened. It never happened. Right? Will the Aston Martin happen? Yes. Why? Because I'm going to stay in until I bloody get it myself. Am I going to buy it? No. I'm going to win it. Okay? So we took that. Sills' dad said, when you get it, drive down and pick me up. I drove down, picked him up. Sills' brother said, it's not exactly a Porsche, is it? <laughs> You're never going to win. I said, you know what? It's better than first class walking. <laughs> okay? So setting goals. How important are they? Do you think we got the holidays and do you think we got the mini? Now, people that have seen this will be like, oh, it's that again. Hey, I can't change our story. For the blokes, that's a Hoover, all right? <laughs> right that, wasn't my, that wasn't my goal. That was my goal. Two kids at the time, Mighty Morphine Power Rangers and the Turtles. My office was a chair under the stairs. 
that's it. That's how big our office was. And every time Sylv went to work and I was doing my ring backs, they were like a tag team. Dad can have a chocolate. No. Dad can have a chocolate. No. And they'd come back and forth, back and forth. And in the end, I'd be like, just, 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 take, just take everything. <laughs> All right? So my goal was to have the, have the phone. We went down to Curry's because that's what we were told. Sylv wanted a purple one. I don't know why. Sylv was there messing around in Curry's with it. I was like, ah, pretending to do calls. And I said, right, that was our first goal. <laughs> right? It's important because you know what? You've got to get them before you can have the big stuff. Because once you get into that mode, everything can happen. So don't set a goal for a Mercedes if it's a million miles away. Dreams uh, start small, but dream big. Keep dreaming big because it'll happen for you. There's some, um, s there's some traits you're going to need. You've got to have passion about this business. Like I said, there's no point dragging your, your clean easy bag behind you. Okay? You've got to smile. The thing is, Bill Gates here, never thought I'd make lots of money. I just love writing software. Look at him now. He just loved it. He, he said in one of his interviews, I didn't care. I just loved doing what I was doing. And do you know what? The amount of people that turned him down is unbelievable. Okay? But you've got to do it with passion. And you've got to do clean easy with passion. Now, people are saying it's quite hard when it's raining. Oops, some of that hasn't come up. Don't matter. Passion, right. Because do you know what? If you do it, and you do it with passion, all of the prizes come anyway. Okay? Whether you want to go up the, the, the league table, I'm um, sorry, up the pay plan, bronze, if you want the cash, if you want the conferences, if you want the car. It all comes from that. You've got to have passion in what you do. The next trait you're going to have, I'm sorry, you're going to have to work. You know, I know, I know there's a catch, and it is a catch. But you know what? All successful people work really hard. But is working really hard and cleaning, is he like working really hard for a boss? Not really, is it? You're not working 40 odd hours a week for somebody you can't stand. You're working probably four or five hours a day in pockets of time to become mega successful. That's all, isn't it? Consistently over a period of time. Pain is temporary, quitting lasts forever. Whatever you do, don't quit. When you're working towards your goals, it's fun. Because you know what, when we were getting absolutely soaked and everything like that, all I kept thinking was, I can't wait to get in that Mini. I can't wait to get in that Mini. You've got to find what is important to you. Because you know what, when you find out what it is, when it rains, you laugh. When, you, when it's sunny, you're laughing anyway, because you always feel better in the sun anyway. You know, our next door neighbours are like, oh, it's raining, you're going to do your catalogues. And I was like, oh, yeah, I am. I said, when it was the summer, I was like, ah. You're going in your office when I'm in my shorts? I said, because I've taken my office with us. <laughs> You'll always get them back. All right? So don't let, it, don't let anything get in your way. Just got to put some work in. You've got to focus. Lynn, this isn't all coming out. All my Hold on. I might have to... I think it's just because the... Ooh. Right, you've got to focus on, on your goals as well. You've got to focus on what you want now. Um, focus on what you want to look at. So you've got to be follow on one course until successful. I'm blagging now, okay? I'm ad-libbing, okay? So here we go. Right? So you've got to have pure focus on when you want this to happen. So if you want to go to um, Dubai, the Maldives, you already know when you need to qualify. Do you agree with that? Okay, so what you need to do then is put that date in and then work backwards. Every period that you need to work is knowing what your target is. If you want to go at 10%, split it into four weeks. How much retail do you need to do on a weekly basis? <laughs> okay, how much do you need to do on a weekly basis? Um, and then you can work out your four weekly period, can't you? And then if you want to go from 10% to 13%, you just do the same. So, but the thing is, so I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, it's all right, don't worry, I'll crack on. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll get, yeah, just, it's all right, I'll just, I'll just carry on. Right, yeah, so, no, keep, keep focused. Um, work out what you need to do, work backwards. So every four weeks, if you know what bonus level you need every period, it tells you, clean as it tells you, doesn't it? You know in advance, so just work out every week that you're doing, how much retail do I need? If you want to build a business, how many people do I need to sponsor in? But more importantly, it's not how many people you need to sponsor in, 
How many people do you need to coach? Anybody can come in. Like Andy said, you know what? Don't worry if you've got stops and holds. It's, it's amazing that I think it's a common name in Clean Easy. You know, like you get Smith, <laughs> right? Well, in Clean Easy, hold, stop, and delinquent, they're common. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Don't worry, because you know what? They didn't join for you. They joined for themselves. You joined for you. Don't let anybody else steal your dream. It's a massive focus on where you want to go. <laughs> You've got to push yourself. Listen, some of you, who's got self-doubt? Who doesn't believe in themselves? Okay? Hey, be honest. Do you know what? When I joined Clean Easy and they said I had to stand at the front of the room, I was like, right, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Do you know what? I shaked them because we used to have acetates. Peter Rear, who, who became my sponsor because my sponsor quit, had to put my acetates on the thing because I, I couldn't stand at the front of the room. Did I think that I could do this? I used to think, oh, look how brilliant they are. No. Do you know what? I just love what I do. I know what I want to get out of this business, and I just want to share information with everybody. Hey, am I good enough? Okay? Right. Who's ever felt like this? It's not come out. I believe everybody in the morning gets up and, fit and basically fits on one of these steps. You know, I won't do it today. I'm not doing it today. You'll make every excuse. You know, oh, I can't do it today. Jeremy Kyle's on. <laughs> All right? Right? How do I do it? I'll try and do it. Tried. Tried is a horrible word. Isn't it? Oh, I'll try. You might as well just say I'm just not going to bother. All right? Okay? How could I do it? Or I will do it. Yes, I did do it. Do you know what? Everybody fits on one of them steps every single day. Do you think every single day I feel like, yes, I did? No, I don't. Why? I'm human. I've got two teenage boys. Testosterone level in our house is, Phew! you know, because it's like, you know, now it's like that. Who's the alpha male? Ooh, <laughs> self. <laughs> right? But, you know, you, but you've got to push yourself to success. But the great thing is, you're going to get challenges. Who's had a challenge? You know what? I've had challenges where people have said to us, I can't come to the meeting. They, they only live down the road. Because on a Tuesday night in the Northwest, I don't know what it is, it's called National Breakdown Day. The amount of people's cars that break down to meetings, it's unbelievable. I'm going to get shares in AA, RAC and Green Flag. Because they must make a killing when cleaners have meetings. You can have challenges, don't worry. Sometimes it's not easy to push yourself. Who agrees on that? There's days when you just don't feel like it. Well, do you know what with this business, which is absolutely fantastic, um, is that you can't see anything. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's blank. There's people in this business that will encourage you and inspire you. But here's the tip. Don't speak to the people that stand in the corner of a meeting, moaning and whining all of the time. Matt's the called. Moaning all the time. Right? If you sign, there's nobody called Matt in here, is there? All right, then you're all right. Don't sign any mats in, right? <laughs> okay? Talk to the person that, that invited you. You know, speak to the people that are moving it forward because they'll encourage you. They will inspire you. Seriously, they will. They understand because they've been there. I'm going to see if I can get anything on that. All right. Got to improve yourself. Again, it's blank. So, right, here we go. What do I mean by improving? You've heard it all the time about self-development books and everything like that. And I was like, ah, that was another thing when Peter here said, right, if you're really serious, I'm not going to work with you until you've brought in X amount of people, you've read X amount of books, and you've come to X amount of meetings. And I said, right, okay then. Books? Books? You know, I was in the army. Page three and the sport page. That's all we ever ran. That was our, that was our paper. But you know what? I thought, I'm going to have to do it. I read a book by Darren Hardy, and it's, it's funny how it, what goes around comes around, because all of them years later, Darren Hardy turns up with Clean Easy. But I was reading this stuff about the compound effect. Who's ever done, right, you don't have to put it out. Who's ever done a diet? Right, some of us, right, right. <laughs> it's like everything, isn't it? Um, you do the diet, and, and you're like that, and then all of a sudden, the day you started that, you, you want chocolate. Right? But if you keep eating that piece of chocolate, you don't see it right away, do you? But three months down the line, you see it. 
right? Now, I've been going to the gym. Now, people won't think, I, I've not, think, you know, I'm really toning, right? <laughs> like my, so, my suit is very tight, right? But I've been going for three months, and I said to myself, do you know what? I don't feel any different. I'm like that. I'm cycling and lifting these things up, hurting every day, because I wanted to get a health, because I've stopped smoking. I wanted a healthy mind, because it gave me a healthy uh, soul and healthy everything so that I can build a healthy business. That's the way I thought, right? But I, I, just, I just feel as though I haven't seen anything. But I know it's there. I do know it's there. So you've got to start attending events. But more important, get involved. Because the one thing, when we all start, you're a learner. You've got to become a professor. Right? Am I still learning? Yes. That's the great thing about this business. And you know what? I'm learning from people that are coming in now because this e-commerce thing, they're better than me. We never had computers. You know, like, like they said, you know, my kids come in and they're like that. Could you just do that? <laughs> Dumb. Well, how do you do that? Oh, it's just easy, Dad. If you want it done, I'll do it for you. Or watch YouTube, right? You've got to improve. If you want to build a business, you need to improve on your phone calls. You need to improve when you're talking to people. You need to improve every on everything, really. So just practice. How hard is it um, to basically do a phone call? Do you know what? Terrifying at first. I'd never done a phone call in my life in the army. Well, in the army I did, but it was nothing that you'd, you'd want to repeat to somebody else. You, you know, you know, have you received your information pack? You know, and it was like that. What do you think? No, oh, hang up. You know, that's not going to bring people in. You just get better. But again, you've got people there that can help you. And technology is fantastic. Skype. You can actually do a phone call and listen to your team and ask, ask your sponsor. Like as some of our now are starting to say to us, listen, will you listen to what I'm doing? Because I feel as though I'm going off track. It's not a problem. I'll help you. Because that's all you're there for. So practice, practice, practice. You've got to help people. If you want something in this business, help enough people to achieve their goals. That's simple, isn't it? Do you know what? You bring people into the business and you say, do you know what? This business is absolutely fantastic. You can earn extra income. And there's all of these stories. And I'm going to give you help 100%. And then you never ring them. How bad's that? You're there to serve. That's what you're there for. When people join, your work starts. Anybody can sign anybody in. I, where, what I learned in the first thing, uh, when Peter Rear sent me a challenge, I signed, I think it was 16 people in in the first, uh, in the second month, I signed 16 people in. How many were left by the end of it? One. Why? Because I just thought, well, if you ain't going to put anything out, I ain't going to talk to you. I used to phone Peter and said, they're not doing that, so I ain't ringing them. He's like, Ram, you can't do that. I'm like, ah, well, if they ain't putting them out, that's it, they ain't getting out. Right? That's just the way it is. But you've got to help people. You've got to involve them. Get them around the people. Get your team. Get them involved. Uh, get them exposed. And get them basically in with everything that's going on in your group. Get them speaking to the right people. Remember, you're there to serve them. You've got to give them something of value every time. Because you know what? They'll thank you for it. But you're not there, right, well, I helped you, so you owe me. That's not what it's about. But what you happens is, is when your business grows, you start to realise who's messing you around. You've got to persist through the crap. Okay, I love this one. Criticism, people are going to criticise you when you do clean easy. Oh, what are you doing that little poxy thing for? Do you know what? Don't rise to the bait. Just say, listen, you know, I've just started it. I really believe in it. I'll, let you, I'll keep you informed on how I'm doing. There's no point arguing with them like I did. What do you mean it's crap? It's criti you know, criticising me. It doesn't work. Right, you're going to get rejection. You're going to get rejection from people that won't buy off you. Right? You're going to get rejection of people that you ring that aren't going to join you. And then you're going to get rejected when they join you, and then they disappear. It's just the way it is. You know? But if you understand it, then that's fine. Then your attitude. Get your attitude right. It's going to happen, isn't it? Right? And then prejudice. The biggest one um, people say, what's the prejudice about, was when we won the Mini, and then people said, it's not exactly a Porsche. Because you joined at the right time. You know, your catalogs are not... And do you know what? And it's true. Lynn will tell you. I mean, I, I joined a lot later after, after Lynn and Andy and Sue. Andy, Andy and Sue just got the colour catalogs. Lynn's catalogs were black and white. <laughs> OK? Right. It's not going to happen overnight. OK? It's not going to happen overnight. Just keep with it. Please keep with it. Never give up. I love that. And I saw this before I was getting this ready. The mouse with the helmet on on the mousetrap. That's you. You've, quitters never win and winners never quit. 
Okay? Plan of execution. You need to know why, when, and how. If you want Dubai, it's already been done for you. Just, just get the plan together, and people will help you along with that. Clean is just a game. Who's played snakes and ladders? Right? Where's the end goal? Number 100, isn't it? What happens? You shake the ice and you're on a massive high when you go up the ladder, aren't you? And then as sure as eggs as eggs, you're coming down the snake. That's clean easy. That's life though, isn't it? Do you know what? With my kids, I want, I've never quit on my kids. Have you ever, you know, your kids like that, you don't say, that's it, finished. You're going back. <laughs> right? You don't. Right? You just carry on. So the key with this business, it's like snakes and ladders. What you've got to do is just keep rolling the dice and complete the game. Because you know what? The people that keep rolling will end up with all of the success. Basically, see your goal, understand the obstacles, create a positive mental picture, clear your mind of self-doubt, embrace the challenge, stay on track, and then show the world you can do it. Because you know what? If I can do it, you can do it. Thank you very much. Take care.